Did you know that the average person says a filler word five times every minute? That's over 300 ums in an hour. And manually editing a one hour podcast can take you three to four hours. For this reason, many people choose not to edit their podcasts, but leaving in all those filler words can distract your listeners and take away from your message. So what should you do? Spend a lot of time editing or don't edit and potentially lose listeners due to all the distractions. Well, that's a choice that you no longer have to make because with Resound, you can find and remove filler words from your audio or video recordings with precision accuracy in just a matter of minutes. Say goodbye to hours of tedious editing. In this video, I will show you how to get started with Resound, upload and process your recordings, review edits that Resound detects, cut all filler words with one click, make additional edits to your content, export your edited file, and ultimately save you hours of tedious editing time. Let's dive in. To get started, go to resound.fm, click the Start Free button, complete the information on this page. Verify your email. Once you've logged in, upload your audio or MP4 video file. You can drag and drop your file into the circle or you can click upload. If you have an episode with multiple speakers on separate tracks, simply hold down the shift button and select all the files in your episode to process it as a multi-track episode in Resound. Once your file finishes uploading, click the Process Audio button and confirm that you'd like to process the file and use this amount of time. Behind the scenes, Resound is finding the edits in your audio, and you'll see the processing screen with the progress bar here. You can upload other files or work on other projects within Resound while your files are processing in the background. Once your project is ready for review, click the Review Edits button to open the editor window. Let's take a look at the editor before we review your edits. The editor is broken into two simple sections, the player and the settings. The player is where you see the waveform, review edits, and make adjustments. The settings are where you can see the stats of how many edits are left, enhance your audio, switch between tracks, adjust editor settings, and export. You can even collapse the editor settings for a full screen editing experience. Now let's walk through how to review your edits. The blue highlighted regions are the edits that have not yet been reviewed. To manually review the detected edits, click the play button or hit the space bar on your keyboard to play or pause your recording. Select cut or keep for each edit you review. When you select cut, that region will turn red and will be removed. When you select keep, that region will turn green and will be left in. You can adjust the boundaries of an edit by grabbing the handles and dragging to make precise adjustments. You can zoom in and out on the timeline by clicking the plus or minus button. You can jump between edits with the left and right arrow buttons or by using the left and right arrows on your keyboard. If you go over to the settings section in the sidebar, you will see that auto advance and auto preview are on by default. Auto advance will jump the playhead to the next edit when you select cut or keep. Auto Preview will jump the playhead back two seconds before the selected edit when you select cut or make an adjustment to an edit. This will allow you to review how the edit sounds. When both Auto Preview and Auto Advance are on, Auto Preview will override Auto Advance when you select cut. These settings are designed to allow you to quickly review your edits in a streamlined way. Feel free to adjust these settings to find the workflow that works best for you. You can cut off filler words with one click by clicking the plus button in the settings section of the sidebar. Toggle on cut all filler sounds. All remaining unreviewed edits will turn from blue to red and will be removed. If you've already selected cut or keep on any edits, cut all filler sounds will not override these previous edit decisions that you've made. You can also remove all detected silences by toggling on cut all silences. And just like that, you may have just saved yourself or someone else hours of tedious editing time. One question that I get asked often is, what should I edit out of my podcast and what should I leave in? I actually wrote about this in a recent blog post on our website. Ultimately, you have to decide what editing philosophy and approach works best for you. If you have a more laid back style, you may wanna leave in some of the filler words or other mistakes to maintain a more authentic vibe. 
On the other hand, if you have a more scripted or maybe narrative style podcast, you may want to edit out most or all of the filler words, false starts, or other mistakes. If you ever find yourself asking this about a particular edit or part, I would recommend that you listen back to that edit with your eyes closed. This will remove all the visual distractions. And if that edit is more noticeable or distracting, then simply leave that part in. Sometimes with editing, less is more. If there are any additional parts that you'd like to edit out, you can make additional edits by right-clicking anywhere in the timeline. An edit will be inserted at the location you clicked. You can extend or shorten this edit by grabbing the handles and dragging to adjust the boundaries. You can select that edit and click delete to remove. If you ever lose your spot and can't find the next edit that you need to review, just click remaining in the stats section and you'll be jumped to the next unreviewed edit. You can enhance the sound of your episode by toggling on the enhance icon. This will improve the overall sound quality of your recording, reduce background noise, and master your audio to streaming broadcast standards. It's sort of like having a professional audio engineer with the click of a button. Once you're pleased with your episode and ready to export your edited file, simply click the plus sign in the export section of the sidebar. Select your preferred file format and click export audio. Your export is in progress and you can see the status of your export. If you ever need to make any changes to your episode, you can make those changes and export the latest version. Resound will auto save the latest version of your project, so feel free to make changes until you're pleased with the results. Your download will start automatically or depending on your browser settings, you can select where you would like to download your audio file. So there you have it. That's how you can find and remove filler words from your audio or video recordings using Resound. Before you go, I wanna leave you with one piece of advice. Always remember the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 done is always better than perfect. So focus on getting your content out rather than trying to make it perfect. And I guarantee you that with Resound, it will get you over the 80% mark. So don't waste your valuable time with tedious editing. Thanks for watching. Go to resound.fm to automate the tedious editing of your next episode today. We look forward to hearing your feedback and what you do with all that time you save by using Resound.